Hey guys, I'm really excited to share something I've had mostly under wraps for a while. This is my new F-35B airframe. As you might have seen in some of my other videos, the old VTOL testbed was getting to the point where it was performing really reliably. I could take off vertically, I could transition, I could fly around and then transition again and land uh, pretty safely without a lot of risk or surprises. Uh, so along those lines, I thought it was time to graduate to a model that was a little bit more complex and a little more true to the final vision for this project. And that's where this comes in. This is designed to be a semi-scale F-35, kind of an interim step between the test bed and a nice super scale final design. Uh, it's intended to be a little more realistic, but still easy to build and work on for development and testing. It has a 1 meter wingspan and is a hybrid construction where most of the airframe is flight test thick maker foam, but the nose and the forward fuselage are printed in lightweight PLA. And this allowed me to get an appearance that's a little bit more scale than some of the flat foamies that you've seen, uh, but also to test some new design methods that could carry over to an eventual super scale model. Uh, namely, I wanted to see if I could print lightweight PLA structures for fairly large models, but keep them durable enough for regular flights. It has a simple wooden skeleton structure to mount all the three BSM hardware that's pretty similar to some of the old methods that were in the original test bed. Uh, the wooden wing spar is also tied into this structure, and it goes all the way up to the nose where it mounts the nose landing gear and the removable lightweight PLA nose section. Speaking of landing gear, it does have retracts, which I think elevates it a little bit and looks really cool in the air. Otherwise, everything else under the hood is a direct carryover from the original test bed, including the FMS 8S power system and the 3BSN. The avionics are still the Cube Black running RG plane, and then I've got an FR Sky receiver, a HERE2 GPS, and a telemetry radio buried in the back. After I finished the build and did some initial hover testing, I took the model out to the fall jet rally at Palomar RC Flyers. And without further delay, let's check out the flight video. This is scratch belt, the 35 GF, run by four cells. We just transition to four flight. Hey Vic, this will be the inbound. Seven point seven and climbing. Okay. Yeah, you're good right now. Yeah, yeah.
So as you can see, that all went really well. I'm super happy with how it performed during the flights, and obviously it was a big hit with the crowd too. It even picked up the People's Choice Award for the jet event. Anyways, the next step for this project are some more flight testing and tuning. Uh, I want to get it running the latest Arju plane, which has a new auto-tune procedure that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, but besides that, I do intend to make this design available to download for people that are looking to make something similar uh, to go along with the 3BSM design that I released on Lofted Arrow a little while ago now. Uh, so I'll be doing some cleanup on the files to get everything ready for release. Um, it'll be SDL files and G-code files and factory files for the printed parts and then some templates for the parts that get cut out of foam. Uh, I'm also planning on releasing some firmware for the flight controller and then doing some tutorial for how to get RG Pilot set up for a platform like this. Uh, so if you're looking to keep tabs on that type of progress, please subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. And thanks for watching.